you know, speaking from personal experience, and I'm sure you're about there, Ryan, those big talks you have with your kids to prepare them for life can be complicated, especially when you're not an expert on the subject. The first thing is everything costs. That's right. <laughs> Nothing's free. Well, we're starting a money talk series to help adults and kids learn the basics of finance. Today, Judette Karaz, Vice President and Financial Literacy Officer of Byline Bank, is explaining the differences between debit and credit cards. So debit and credit, they're opposite sides of the spectrum. The debit card is attached to your checking account and that's you're paying the money directly from your checking account. You're not building up any credit, however, you're just making the payment. So the credit card is the buy now, pay later. So you make your purchases first and then you're gonna get billed monthly from that credit card company. Well, they're for different uses. So, you know, I, I would suggest you have both. Not one isn't really necessarily better than the other one. The credit card is important to build credit, but the debit card, hopefully you're, you're tracking what you're spending. One is the use, the primary use. So that's the one I'm using my groceries for. That's the one I'm going to go out and use when I'm at the restaurant and all of that sort of thing. Maybe have a second as a backup in case that one gets stolen or lost or whatever the case may be. Maybe you have a third, but that one you put in the freezer. You're not using it. It's a credit builder. You really have to know yourself and what the lim your limitations are, how much you make and how much you can afford to pay back each month. That's going to dictate the good credit limit. First thing, no annual fee. What are they doing for you? My card is gonna give me miles um, or points, travel points, so that's what I'm gonna look for. Others will look for a savings component, so they always like will round up and the, the change goes into a savings account. There are cards that break up your payments, that's good for budgeting. Paying it all off in its entirety when you get your statements. That average rate right now is 26%. So if you've bought something and you've not paid it off, you're getting charged that interest. Just making the minimum payments, you start getting into this, this roundabout and never really hitting the principal. If someone, for example, went and bought furniture for $2,500 and was only making the minimum payments, it would take them close to 30 years to pay that off. And you know, think about that. You probably got rid of that furniture at that, that, that point. You know, ideally you wanna just pay that off. Good advice. We want to know the money talks you want to learn about. Head to CBSChicago.com to send us your ideas.